Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now we'll continue from Al-Wan Sadisa. Assalam. And that's Ustani of Hamzun. At the time of Sani and Misal. Haza Azan al Asr. This is Asr Azan. Hiya Binail al Masjid. Let's go to the Masjid. Anna Usalli fil Bayt. I will pray in the house. Salli fil Masjidi. Pray in the masjid. Last time we studied imperative tense, Fedemar. So this Salli is imperative. <clears throat> and Usalli is present tense. Rest of the grammar you already know. So who wants to read it? Who Raise your hand. Miss Saima, you are first, and Miss Satya, you are second. Continue. Hada Azanul Fajri. Fajr? Oh, hi. Haya Bina Ilal Masjid. Ana Usali Fishiko. Sali Fi. Continue, Sadi. Sali fil masjidi. Okay, next. Hada adhan al-zumri. Haya bina ila al-masjidi. Ana usalli fil madrasa. Halli fil masjidi. Salli fil masjidi. Hada adhan al-maghribi. Haya bina ila al-masjidi. أنا أصلي في الغرفة. صلي في المسجد. هذا ذان العشاء. هيا بنا إلى المسجد. أنا أصلي في البيت. صلي في المسجد. تدريب الصالة ساتي جملا كما في المثال. Bring sentences like the one in example. المثال. أسمع وزان الفجر في البيت. I hear Fajr Azan in the house. Atawaddao fil hamam. I make wudu. <coughs> I perform wudu in the bathroom. Osalli al fajr fil masjid. And I pray Fajr in the masjid. Who wants to read? Raise her hand. Raise your hand. Miss Saima, continue. أسمع وذان الزهر في البيت أتوضأ في الحمام وأصلي الزهر في المسجد في المدرسة في المسجد أسمع أسمع وذان العصر في البيت أتوضأ في الشقة أتوضأ في الشقة وأصلي confusion here أتوضأ في الحمام. You will say أسمع وزان الأسر في الشقة. أتوضأ في الحمام وأصل الأسر في المسجد. صحيح جزاك الله. أسمع وأذان العصر في الشقة. أتوضأ في الحمام وأصل الفجر في المسجد. أسمع وأذان المغرب في البيت في الغرفة. أتوضأ في الحمام وأصلي الفجر في المسجد. مغربا مغربا. مغربا. أسمع أذان العشاء في البيت. أتوضأ في الحمام وأصلي الفجر أصلي العشاء في المسجد. Next time إن شاء الله we'll continue with the drive of Rabi. Now Sahih al Bukhari. Okay, last time we read this first, we will revise this, then we will continue the new hadith. 
who wants to read raise her hand miss fatu bintu kamara continue assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam kitab badu al wahi badu al wahi wahi so kitab mean unit so first unit of the book start of the revelation okay yes qala he said okay bab chapter kaifa how kana was badu a start al wahi revelation ila to rasul the messenger allah of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him chapter of how was the revelation started to the messenger of allah peace be upon him wa qawlu wa qawlu allah and the statement of allah jalla dhikruhu inna indeed awhayna we have revealed ilayka to you prophet muhammad kama as awhayna we have revealed ila to nuhin prophet nuh wan nabiyina and the prophets min ba'dihi after him so indeed we have revealed to you as we have revealed to prophet nuh and prophets after him okay Okay. Next. The Mayatu I had Umar Umar Ibn al Khattab Radiallahu Anhu Yala be pleased with him Ala Ala al Mimbar on the pulpit. Kala, he said, The Mayatu I had Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May peace be upon him. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Yaqulu, he was saying, Innama, indeed, al-a'malu, the actions, bin diyati, depends upon the intention. Wa innama, and indeed, li kulli, for each imri in man, ma nawah, what he intends. Faman, so the one who cannot uh wow. planet was hijratuhu migration his migration who's migration ila dunya ila dunya to the wall you see buha he earns it he can Aw, or, ila ila hmm? okay continue أو أو إلى إلى إمر إلى رأة تو أو من ينكهها تم so that he could marry her فهجرته so his migration إلى ما to his migration إلى ما هاجر إلى is for what he migrated. Okay, if anyone has any questions, she can ask me. Okay, no question. So we'll continue. <clears throat> Unmean from, or you can also say narrated from. So here we will say narrated from. Aisha, Aisha is the name. Um mil mominin, um mean mother, um mean mother. Bismillah ar-Rahman. Al mominin mother or al mominin Muslims. Al Mu'minin, Muslim, the believers. Mu'min also mean believer. So Umm al Mu'minin, the mother of believers. So we believe that the wives of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him are our mothers. So that's why we said Aisha is the mother of all believers. Razi Allahu anha. 
may Allah be pleased with her. Anha mean with her. So it is narrated by Aisha. May Allah be pleased with her. So Aisha is the mother of all believers, all Muslims. Anna dead. Then Al Haris Sabna Hasham Haris, the son of Hisham. Haris, son of Hisham. Haris, son of Hisham. Haris Sabna Hisham in mean the Haris, son of Hisham. Razi Allahu Anhu. May Allah be pleased with him. Razi mean pleased. Anhu with him. Razi Allahu Anhu. May Allah be pleased with him. Razi Allahu Anha mean may Allah be pleased with her. So this is female and this is male. Sa'ala, he asked. So Haris asked. Annal Harisa Sa'ala, that Haris asked. Rasulullah, Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. So Aisha said, Aisha radiallahu anha said that Haris asked Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Fakala, so he said, so basically Hisham said Hisham said, Fakala, so he said Fa means so, Kala he said So he means Hisham So he said, Ya Rasulullah <coughs> Ya mean O oh. O oh, Messenger of Allah, Ya Rasulullah, O oh, Messenger of Allah, Kaifa how? Yaati, Yaati mean comes, coming to you, coming you. Yaati ka comes to you, Yaati ka come to you. Al Wahyu revelation, Al Wahyu revelation. Kaifa Yaati. How does the revelation comes to you? Kaifa Yati Kalwahyu. How does the revelation comes to you? So Aisha is telling us that Haris asked the Messenger of Allah, O oh Rasulullah, how does the revelation comes to you? <coughs> Fakala so said Rasulullah Messenger of Allah peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. So Messenger of Allah said Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said Ahyanan sometimes Ahyanan sometimes Yati me Yati as I told you earlier that Yati mean comes ni to me ni mean to me yatini comes to me yatini comes to me misla like misla like salsalati ringing salsalati ringing al jarasi bell al jarasi bell <coughs> ayanan yatini misla salsalati jarasi Sometimes it comes to me like the ringing of the bell. Wahuwa and it is. Wahuwa and it is. Ashaddu. Ashaddu mean hardest. Severe. Hardest. Who mean of it? So who is used for wahi? Who is used for wahi? Revelation. Wahuwa ashaddu and it is the hardest. Wahuwa ashadhu and it is the hardest, it is the severe. Alayya to me. Wahuwa ashadhu alayya, it is the hardest one on me. Fa yufsamu anni. Fa means so. Now, yufsamu mean on normal occasion, yufsam mean cut. Yufsam mean cut. But here it means when it stops. Fayuf samu means stop. Anni to me. Fayuf samu anni. So when it stops. So basically that uh, state, that condition of 
coming of revelation stops. So fayuf samoni. So when it stops, wakad wa min an kad is used for emphasis only, and indeed or verily. So you can in this sentence you can say verily, indeed, but you should know that uh, it does not mean anything proper in this translation. It is used in emphasis in Arabic that you will study about emphasis later in Arabic grammar. Why <clears> to? <throat> Why mean I memorized? Why mean I memorized? Why to? I memorized. Anhu to it. Anhu from it you can see also. Ma, ma kala what he said. Ma kala what he said. So basically, angels comes to Prophet Muhammad <clears throat> and his sound appears to him like the ringing of the bell. And this is the most severe of the revelations the Prophet said to him. So when it stopped, he memorized from him what he said. And perhaps and verily, I memorize from him what he said. And verily I memorize from him what he said. Wa ahyanan and sometime. Wa ahyanan mean and sometime. Yatamasalu he is like. Yatamasalu mean he is like. So ya is for the angel. Yatamasalu he is like. Li mean comes to me. So here the word yat is not um, written because it is understood in the speaking. Yatamasalu it comes to me. Li mean to me. Al malaku the angel. So al malaku yat. The angel comes to me in the form of a man. Rajulan mean man. Rajulan man. So let me repeat this sentence. Wa an ayanan sometime. Ayanan sometime. Yatamasalu likes. Similar to. Yatamasalu mean likes. Similar to. Then li mean to me. Li mean to me. Al Malaku the angel. Rajulan a man. Wa ahyanan yatamasalu lil Malaku Rajulan. And sometime the angel comes to me in the form of yatamasalu in the form of a man. And sometime the angel comes to me in the form of a man in the shape of a man fa yukallimuni so ya mean he kallim means speak ni to me fa yukallimuni so he speaks to me fa yukallimuni so he speaks to me fa ai so i memorize fa ai so I memorize ma yakulu what he says. Ma yakulu what he says. So in this hadith, two types of revelation are written. There are some other types, but they are not mentioned here. So in this one, only two types are mentioned. First thing, the revelation comes to Prophet Muhammad in the form of a ringing of a bell. Then the second one, in which angel comes to him, in the form of a man and he speaks to Prophet Muhammad. For I am my equal, so I memorize what he says. Then call it means said. Aisha, Aisha said. Call it Aisha, Aisha said. Razi Allahu anna, may Allah be pleased with her. Walakad. And verily, and perhaps, and indeed, walakad, and no doubt. Walakad and no doubt it has all these meaning. No doubt, verily, indeed, perhaps, all these are the meaning of lakad. And indeed, and no doubt, ra'i tuhu, I saw him. 
So in the last sentence you say the a sweat has come in his in his head from his forehead from forehead okay okay anybody else so what is arakan arak arak means sweet acha first way it is arakan yes and this uh la yat fasadu what is the root word it is fasada fasada hmm. or if you want any some then you say fasdun so that is that is meaning sweeping uh, from his forehead it and the word is originally used for bleeding out something which bleeds out okay uh -huh. so in okay. this sense it is used in seeping out coming out seeping okay anyone else okay shall i recommend you to try to prepare it and when so that if you prepare it then next time we we'll, when we we'll study this one again you will find it quite easier so inshallah we'll continue next time our next class will be on saturday okay last time okay okay no questions so inshallah as you know 
we tomorrow thursday and friday are off we have holiday so inshallah we'll continue on saturday Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Wa